What crypto exchange are you using? Are you sure that it's safe? Are you being ripped off in fees? And are there better options out there? Well, that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. My name is Guy, and today I'm going to take you through six of the best crypto exchanges on the market. There are also some hints and tips that you must know before using any exchange. This video could literally save you thousands of dollars. So don't go anywhere. Before we dive into these picks, it's important to point out a few things. Firstly, no matter how secure you think an exchange is, you should always practice self-custody. As we've seen with some exchanges of yesteryear, you can never be 100% certain that your crypto is safe unless you control the keys. Now, we've covered self-custody in a number of videos, which I'll leave linked to in the description. Also, although we may have affiliate agreements in place with some of these exchanges, this video is absolutely not sponsored in any way. It's our impartial take on some of the best exchanges on the market. It's also a non-exhaustive list, and there may be other exchanges out there that you can use. Just be sure to DYOR. To ensure consistency, we'll compare each of these exchanges across five different themes. Solvency, security, coin support, fees, and other features. And finally, these exchanges that we're about to list are in no particular order. Just FYI. OK, with all of that out of the way, let's jump into the first exchange. And this one is an industry stalwart. Coinbase is one of the OGs among crypto exchanges. It was co-founded in San Francisco in 2012 by Brian Armstrong, its current CEO. In 2021, the company shuttered its California headquarters and now operates as a remote-first exchange. Now, Coinbase is the largest exchange in the US by trading volume and is unique in being the only exchange listed on the New York Stock Exchange. This means not only does it have access to increased liquidity, but it also has to comply with a lot of red tape aimed at protecting customer assets. Coinbase operates in over 100 countries, pretty much every country you can think of, except for those sanctioned by the US government. Curiously, it's also not available in Hawaii, where crypto laws are pretty strict. Notably, Coinbase officially launched in Canada this summer, just months after Binance, the world's largest exchange, shuttered its operations there because of Canada's increasingly strict regulations. Sadly, amid the crypto downturn in late 2022 and early 2023, Coinbase laid off over 40% of its workforce. But it's still on a solid footing, with over 3,400 employees, and is actively hiring at the moment. OK, so that's a bit of background on Coinbase. But what's arguably most important is its security. Well, being a public company, Coinbase adheres to strict audit regulations, with financial statements audited by Deloitte, one of the big four international accounting firms. This is next-level stuff when it comes to proving its financial health. Not only do user assets surpass liabilities, but 98% of coins are stored securely offline in cold wallets. Meanwhile, Coins that remain online are insured, and US customers have balances insured by the FDIC, a federal agency that aims to maintain stability and public confidence in the US financial system, to the tune of $250,000. Now, there is one black mark to Coinbase's name, though, when it comes to security. That's the fact that in March 2021, the company experienced a breach where hackers accessed 6,000 customer accounts. However, the way the company dealt with the issue shows maturity. The issue was promptly resolved, security procedures were improved, and affected customers were reimbursed for any losses. Despite the 2021 incident, Coinbase is one of the most secure cryptocurrency platforms out there. Now, moving on to the number of assets supported by Coinbase, the answer is not as straightforward as you might think. Coinbase is a little vague on its website. And if you search other sites, you'll see anything from 150 to 250 and even over 10,000. From our experience, the lower figure is the most accurate. Coinbase is not known for its extensive coin support, as it tries not to list anything the Securities and Exchange Commission 
might label as a security. That said, it does have all the big ones you can think of. And I should add that Coinbase, along with Kraken, relisted XRP after Ripple Labs' partial victory over the SEC earlier this year. So, to buy crypto on Coinbase, you can only use three fiat options US dollars, British pounds, and euros. If you're in any other country, then you can still fund in your local currency, although the balance will be reflected in dollars. This is a shortcoming as other exchanges offer a much broader variety of fiat currencies. When it comes to depositing and withdrawing fiat, Coinbase offers a wide range of methods that are broadly in line with other exchanges. They include card payments and bank transfers, though as with all exchanges, you need to keep your antennae up when it comes to fees. As a rule of thumb, avoid credit card payments as they are prohibitively expensive. For US customers, the cheapest method is through ACH, which is free. Customers in Europe and the UK can do a wire transfer through SEPA, which costs 15 euro cents and one pound, respectively. If you're not in these jurisdictions, then SWIFT is probably your best bet, but it can be pricey. I'll add a link to Coinbase's fee structure in the description below so you can understand which rate applies to you. Now, when it comes to trading fees, Coinbase operates a make-a-taker model with different tiers based on your trading volume over the past 30 days. As you'll discover, this is typical across exchanges. And if you're unfamiliar with the terms maker-taker, allow me to quickly explain. So, if you place an order at the current market price and it's executed right away, you're a taker and will be charged a fee ranging from 0.05% to 0.6% on Coinbase. If you place an order that doesn't match any existing order, it goes on the order book. When someone else's order matches with yours later on, you're a maker and your fee will be between 0 and 0.4%. These percentages are based on the pricing tier you're in when the order is placed. As a general rule across exchanges, the higher your trading volume, the lower your fees. You can see the full range of Coinbase's fees in this table, which I'll link to below. Now to trading. Coinbase fares particularly well for beginners. Its design is user-friendly and intuitive. For those seeking more detailed trading options, you can try Coinbase Advanced Trade. This is basically the grandfathered Coinbase Pro, which you'll remember from last year. Advanced Trade has a suite of trading tools and features like limit orders, stop orders, and market orders. As well as this, the platform has an Advanced Trade API, which offers interactive charts powered by TradingView, advanced order types, and other advanced trading features. Overall, then, Coinbase is a strong choice, especially for customers in the US. Its commitment to security and adherence to strict regulations has helped it establish a name as one of the world's most reputable exchanges. On the downside, its selection of digital assets is somewhat limited, which can put off advanced traders or those seeking out small cap tokens. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, then feel free to hit up that like button. We do appreciate the support. Next up, we have OKX. Now, this company was originally founded as OKEX in China in 2017 by Star Zhu, who is its current CEO. Since 2018, the company has been headquartered in the Seychelles, although they have offices in multiple jurisdictions. Now, in 2022, OKEX signaled that it's much more than an exchange by dropping the E for exchange in its name as it branched out to decentralized services, including DeFi products, NFTs, games, and the metaverse. While other exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken felt the pinch of the 2022 bear market and laid off major portions of their workforces, OKX managed to expand its global presence, which is impressive. The exchange is available in most jurisdictions, but it has some key restrictions, including the likes of the USA and some countries in Europe. We'll leave the full list down in the description for you. Moving briefly on to star power, you'll see it's endorsed by familiar faces like football manager Pep Guardiola and F1 driver Daniel Ricciardo. Though in the post-FTX days, these endorsements provide precisely zero assurance. Nonetheless, OKX's security processes are solid. Like other exchanges, OKX uses proof of reserves to prove solvency. The good news is that, to date, 
OKX's solvency ratio consistently exceeds 100%, meaning that assets always surpass liabilities. Analytics firm Nansen monitors OKX's reserve compositions, which show that typically 90% of them are liquid cryptocurrencies like BTC, ETH, and USDT. However, I should note that while proof of reserves offers transparency around user deposits, it doesn't detail the full financial state of the company. For this, an independent third party needs to carry out a comprehensive audit on OKX. However, this is easier said than done because auditors are choosing not to engage with crypto firms, an issue most other exchanges are facing. Now, when it comes to operational security, OKX procedures appear to be solid. According to the company's website, 95% of coins are securely stored offline, with individual storage units holding no more than 1,000 BTC. In addition, they adopt a whole host of best practices when it comes to ensuring that only a small number of individuals have access to the company's cold wallets, private keys, and vaults, which is where backups are kept. For instance, the two individuals who are granted access to vaults are not allowed to travel in the same vehicle together. You can't be too careful, after all. When it comes to coin support, OKX fares better than Coinbase with over 350 digital currencies. It also accepts a broader spectrum of fiat currencies. These include USD, GDP, and euros, as well as local currencies in China, Argentina, Australia, Bulgaria, Brazil, Canada, Switzerland, and Colombia. You can buy crypto on OKX using all the typical means, including bank transfers, card purchases, Apple Pay, crypto, and more. However, while OKX is transparent about the fees involved in trading, they do not appear to disclose the fees associated with deposits and withdrawals, which is a little frustrating. Thankfully, when it comes to trading fees, OKX performs very well. It is, in fact, one of the cost leaders in the space. I should note, however, that trading fees vary for regular and VIP users. Regular users' fees are determined by the amount of OKB they hold, while VIP users' fees are based on their 30-day trading activity and daily asset balances. As with the previous exchanges, the higher the volume, the lower the fees. If you're a regular trader with over $2,000 in total OKB holdings, the maker-taker fees are 0.06% and 0.08% respectively. I'll leave a link to the full fee structure in the description below. Oh, and if you're looking for a way to get even lower fees, then we have got a deal for you. We've been able to negotiate a 40% trading fee discount for all Coin Bureau users. And not only that, but there are also $20,000 in deposit bonuses up for grabs. So, if you want to take advantage of this time-limited offer, then head on down to the description and find the link to our OKX deal down below. Now, when it comes to trading, OKX is more targeted at seasoned traders rather than novices. It has a comprehensive and interactive user interface with an expansive array of trading options beyond spot, margin, and futures trading. I should caution that beginners might find the advanced concepts a tad challenging, especially compared to more straightforward exchanges like Coinbase and a few others we'll be covering later on. Overall then, OKX is a good option for more established traders and those wanting a more diverse product offering than better established competitors like Coinbase. However, its transparency when it comes to liabilities as well as deposit and withdrawal fees are potential shortcomings. Also, its intricate user interface might put off beginners. If you want a much more in-depth guide to the OKX platform, then I encourage you to look at our numerous comprehensive reviews of the exchange also linked to below. Moving on to our next exchange though, and that is Bybit. Bybit, co-founded in 2018 by Ben Zhao, its current CEO, is one of the world's fastest growing exchanges. Bybit reportedly expanded from 10 million users to over 15 million in less than a year, which is pretty damn impressive. The platform claims to be, quote, the world's third most visited crypto exchange, which is a claim we're not able to verify. In 2023, Bybit opened its HQ in Dubai and strengthened its presence in the EU after securing licensing approval in Cyprus. Although it looks likely to expand into more jurisdictions soon, for the time being, the exchange is not available to users in a number of countries, including the US, the UK, 
mainland China, Singapore, Canada and countries sanctioned by the US. I encourage you to view the full list to see whether your country is supported or not. Now, when it comes to solvency, Bybit guarantees customer assets are backed one-to-one. -one. Like other exchanges, bar Coinbase, it uses Merkle Tree proof of reserves to demonstrate this. And like OKX, it unfortunately doesn't have any third-party audits. In terms of operational security, Bybit ranks in the top 10 exchanges by certified with a triple A rating. And Bybit has a gamut of security procedures, including penetration tests, a bug bounty, ISO 27001 certification, and funds assurance. It uses an industry-leading and multi-signature cold wallet to store 100% of its traders' deposited assets. Meanwhile, when it comes to customer funds, it keeps the majority of these in offline cold storage and uses multi-signature authorizations for fund movements, preventing single-point failures. In other words, its security protocols are top-notch. Now, let's move on to coin support. Bybit has more than 270 assets in the spot market and over 200 contracts in the derivatives market. It supports deposits in 15 fiat currencies, including euro, USD, and GBP. The exchange offers several ways to buy crypto, including via credit and debit card, express checkout, and P2P trading. P2P trading is the most cost-effective way as it comes with zero fees. If you want to deposit fiat, the platform is transparent when it comes to the fees that will be charged per transaction. If you want to deposit euros, it will cost either 30 euro cents if you use easy bank payment or 0.19% if you opt for SEPA. So you'll need to do a little homework depending on your context. But the good news is that deposit fees on Bybit tend to be minimal. In terms of Bybit trading fee structure, the exchange has a tiered trading fee structure depending on your account balance or trading in the last 30 days. Entry-level traders will pay a make-a-taker fee ratio of 0.1% for spot trading. These fees reduce as you go up the tier system, as you can see from this chart. However, I have a little tip for you in order to further reduce those fees. If you sign up through the Coin Bureau deals link below, you will get 0% maker fees for the first 30 days. Not only that, but there are over $40,000 in bonuses on offer as well. So be sure to make use of it before time runs out. Link below. Now, Bybit is also recognized for its impressive transaction speeds, clocking in at 135,000 transactions per second, primarily for derivatives trading. While its advanced trading concepts might pose a challenge for novices, it remains an excellent platform for acquiring trading knowledge. In terms of offerings, Bybit extends a variety of trading options from spot to futures. Traders can also avail themselves of diverse order types, such as market, limit, and stop limit orders. If you want to know exactly how to use the exchange and all of its features, then we also have you covered with our comprehensive guides. Overall, then, it's little surprise that Bybit is rapidly gaining traction in the industry, boasting top-tier transaction speeds, an intuitive user interface, and a high trading volume. However, it's worth noting that Bybit supports a narrower range of cryptocurrencies than the likes of OKX, and it mainly focuses on derivatives trading. Next up, we have Kraken. Now, Kraken is the OG. It was founded in 2011 as an alternative to the one and only Mt. Gox, which was once the biggest exchange in the world before it collapsed in 2014, nearly taking the whole industry down with it. Jesse Powell, one of Kraken's co-founders, announced last year that he was stepping aside as CEO, truly marking the end of an era. Kraken is now headed by former COO Dave Ripley, though I should say Jesse Powell remains on the board. Like Coinbase, Kraken shuttered its San Francisco HQ in 2022 and has also gone remote first. The exchange is available in most countries and the US. However, it is not available to residents of New York because of its strict bit license laws, as well as Washington state. Regardless, Kraken is a well-regulated exchange and is either regulated or licensed in North America, Europe, the Middle East, and the APAC region. Without getting into the nitty-gritty, Regulatory approval tends to mean the company has safeguards in place to protect customer rights and their assets. When it comes to security, Kraken's record is impressive. 
Kraken was in fact the first exchange to have a proof of reserves audit all the way back in 2014. Proof of reserves is a way of cryptographically proving that the amount of crypto assets held by a company exceeds the amount required to cover the balances held by customers. Kraken now carries out proof of reserve audits periodically, most recently in early 2022. However, Kraken not only verifies reserves, but also liabilities. As the company notes, exchanges need to carry out both in order to paint a more complete picture of the platform's overall health. We should also state that there is no standard approach to proof of reserve audits, and not all exchanges are transparent with their liabilities. If you want more information on proof of reserves in general, then I encourage you to watch our video on the safest exchanges, and that is in the top right for you. Anywho, Kraken is ISO 27001 certified, which is an international standard that verifies that security is baked into its design and operation. It also has a SOC 2 certification, meaning that its data protection controls have been audited. And, like in a good James Bond film, its servers are manned by security guards with 24-7 protection. They also have experts testing their systems using every imaginable attack vector they can think of. In fact, Kraken takes security so seriously that it even has a division called Security Labs that helps other Web3 companies enhance their security. According to Certified, Kraken is the second most secure exchange in the world, and the only OG exchange not to suffer a hack. I think you get the point. Kraken is very secure. Now, on to coin support and what you can use the exchange for. To start with, I should say, Kraken supports over 200 coins and tokens, which is more than Coinbase, but fewer than other exchanges in this video. The range of fiat currencies that can be used to buy crypto is more extensive on Kraken than Coinbase, however. They include the trio of US dollars, British pounds, and euros, as well as local currencies in Japan, Canada, Switzerland, and Australia. The website details the payment methods and currencies available in your region, but they include wire transfers, Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and crypto. The exact fee structure depends on your currency and method of payment. I'll leave the relevant link below. Now, fortunately, fees for deposits and withdrawals on Kraken are typically low and can be free. As a rule of thumb, SWIFT in Europe and ACH in the US come with the lowest costs but can take several days to transfer. On the other hand, wire transfers are typically same day, but you'll pay a premium. So it depends on your priority. When it comes to trading fees, Kraken uses a make-or-take-a fee schedule with volume incentives based on your activity in the past 30 days. The more volume you trade, the cheaper the fees, as you can see from this chart. For instance, if your 30-day trading volume is under $50,000, you'll be paying make-or-take-a fees of 0.16% and 0.26% respectively. On the other end, if your trading volume is above half a billion, then those fees drop to 0% and 0.04%. And if your trading fee volume is above half a billion, then maybe we should hang out sometime. Anyway, jokes aside, Kraken is a solid choice, both if you're a beginner or an advanced trader. If you're the latter, definitely check out Kraken Pro. Whether it's spot, margin, or futures trading, Kraken Pro has you sorted. And like Coinbase, Kraken's advanced setting gives you access to interactive trading charts powered by TradingView and a whole range of functionalities not available to regular users. Overall, then, Kraken stands out as an ideal choice for beginners. Much like Coinbase, it is a trusted platform with robust security measures and presents an easily navigable interface for those new to trading. Its trading fees are also reasonably low. Despite outperforming Coinbase in these areas, Kraken doesn't offer a vast range of coins and its support for fiat currencies is somewhat limited. Additionally, Users should be aware of the higher fees associated with instant purchases and swift withdrawals. Right, now let's turn to KuCoin. This exchange was launched in 2017 by Johnny Liu, its current CEO. Like OKX, it's headquartered in the Seychelles. It's all right for some, isn't it? Now, KuCoin is a major exchange ranking fifth in CoinMarketCap's top crypto spot exchanges behind Coinbase, Kraken, and Bybit. KuCoin boldly claims that one in four crypto holders use the exchange, 
and states that it has over 30 million traders from over 200 countries and regions. Now, I know what you're thinking. Guy, how is that possible when there are only 195 countries, according to the UN? Well, if you take the CIA handbook, which includes countries, disputed territories, and dependent areas, the number creeps up to 237. So, we'll give KuCoin the benefit of the doubt here. However, there are some key markets where KuCoin does not take users, and these include Canada, Japan, South Korea, and, of course, the USA. So, take note. When it comes to transparency, KuCoin is doing very well. The exchange is very clear in how it evidences solvency. It periodically requests an independent third-party institution to certify that there are one-to-one -one on chain reserves for all user assets. In addition, it carries out proof of reserves. You can see the date of these reviews on its website. As well as that, the exchange details the reserve ratios of BTC, ETH, USDT, and USDC. Nice and clear. Other exchanges take note. When it comes to security, however, KuCoin's processes do not stand out. The exchange says its assets are stored in independent and separate cold, warm, and hot wallets without specifying the percentages in each. Similarly, it says its private key management is, quote, advanced, but doesn't provide further details. We know that KuCoin improved its security following a significant hack back in 2020, during which $275 million in customer funds were lost. However, according to Certified, an independent security rating group, KuCoin has an A rating and ranks number 34 in terms of overall security. By comparison, Coinbase, Kraken, and Bybit have AAA ratings and are in the top 10. KuCoin, therefore, has a lot of room for improvement when it comes to security. On the other hand, KuCoin is in another league when it comes to the coins and tokens on offer. At our latest count, it offers over 700. These span everything from popular tokens, stablecoins, DeFi tokens, meme coins, and much more. On top of that, 28 fiat currencies are listed, including the big three, USD, GBP, and Euro. Now, buying crypto on KuCoin is straightforward, and the platform accepts over 70 payment types. Bank transfer is marginally cheaper than a credit card. For instance, as we record this, 100 USD will get you 99.99 USDT if you use Banksa, a global payments infrastructure provider for crypto. If you use an online bank account like Wise, you'll get 98 USDT. When it comes to fees, KuCoin offers a tiered maker-taker fee model. KuCoin's fees for spot trading are very simple, with a fee of 0.1% for both maker and taker at the first tier. They then drop across tiers to a low of 0.005% slash 0.025% at the top tier. Users can rise up the tier rankings by holding larger amounts of KuCoin's native token, KCS. Overall, then, KuCoin offers one of the most competitive fees among cryptocurrency exchanges. But there is a way for you to get up to 60% discount on these trading fees, and that's by visiting our KuCoin deal in the link below. Be sure to do that while the deal is still on offer, though. Capiche? Now, moving on to trading, KuCoin offers its users a range of trading alternatives, including spot, margin, and futures trading. To ensure a seamless trading experience, KuCoin provides multiple order types like market, limit, and stop limit orders. It also offers an advanced trading bot that allows traders to automate their trading strategies. As usual, we have in-depth guides about how to use KuCoin, and they'll be linked to in the description for you folks. In short, though, KuCoin is popular with expert traders because of its many coin options and trading contests. However, its complex interface might confuse beginners. KuCoin also has limited support for regular money, higher fees for quick buys, and few educational tools. And finally, we turn to SwissBorg. Now, SwissBorg is not your typical exchange. Rather, it's a mobile-first crypto investment platform. It offers a wide suite of services, including crypto portfolio management, buying and selling crypto, earning yield, and more. It was founded in early 2018 and is headquartered in, you guessed it, Switzerland, Lausanne to be specific. Cyrus Fazel is the co-founder and CEO. The company is much smaller than the other exchanges in this review. 
It has over 700,000 users, 200 staff, and operates across more than 50 countries. Though I should note, it is not, or not yet, available in the US. SwissBorg is licensed and regulated in Switzerland, France, and Estonia, and is certainly proud of its links to Switzerland. Last year, in light of the FTX collapse, SwissBorg launched an initiative to promote transparency and openness to the community. Called, quote, In SwissBorg We Trust, the initiative extends to the company's measures to prove solvency. Its proof of reserves is showcased through public data and dashboards from its partner Fireblocks. But that's not all. This year, SwissBorg released a proof of liabilities protocol, which essentially allows users to confirm that their liabilities have been accounted for in the total. Beyond this, SwissBorg bolsters solvency by retaining two-thirds of its own assets in fiat and stablecoins, mitigating other crypto volatility risks. SwissBorg uses so-called multi-party computation, MPC, technology to prevent any single point of failure in its custody. In a nutshell, MPC technology splits the traditional private keys into multiple pieces, distributing them in multiple places to ensure no one person has full access to the whole private key. And something else that SwissBorg claims to do is to segregate customer deposits from company accounts. This means that on the off chance that SwissBorg goes bankrupt, customers should technically not suffer any losses. By comparison, Coinbase admitted in 2022 that if it goes bust, customers would lose their deposits. And I suspect they aren't the only exchange on this list where that would apply. The last thing I'll say about security in SwissBorg is that to our knowledge, the company has not suffered any successful hacks to date. And like the Swiss flag, that is a big plus. Sorry. Now on to coin support, which is by far the smallest offering among the exchanges covered here. SwissBorg lists 71 cryptocurrencies at the time of writing, including all the major ones, and supports USD, Euro, GBP, and Swiss francs. You can buy crypto on the SwissBorg app through other exchanges, DEXs, crypto ATMs, and more. And SwissBorg does not charge deposit fees for your cryptocurrencies. Still, Withdrawals from your account are subject to an execution fee of 0.1% with a minimum fee per cryptocurrency, and additional fees may be charged depending on the network. On SwissBorg, except for card deposit fees, there are no other fees associated with the deposit of fiat currencies, stablecoins, or crypto assets. Though you may be charged a fee by your bank or platform from where you are sending the funds. When it comes to trading fees, these vary. SwissBorg has multiple premium tiers with names like Explorer, Pioneer, and Genesis. They provide users with various benefits, including lower fees and higher yields. To access these tiers, you need to lock up increasing amounts of SwissBorg's native token, Borg, for a period of a year. For instance, to reach the first level, Explorer, you need 500 Borg, which is worth around $200 at today's rate. On the upper end, you need 20,000, which is worth about $40,000 today. Of course, you have to be comfortable with locking up that amount of crypto. Of course, it's not risk free. But the reason SwissBorg stands out and why we've included it on our list is because the company has carved a niche for itself by offering a myriad of trading options and advanced investment products. One such product is SwissBorg Thematics, which enables users to invest in crypto asset collections based on distinct themes. Using an automatic rebalancing system, SwissBorg Thematics ensures optimized investments by capitalizing on market lows and highs. Think of it like index funds in the traditional stock market. For instance, users can opt for a thematic bundle that includes BTC and gold and dynamically adjusts cryptocurrency weightings based on market fluctuations. Pretty cool stuff. At the same time, the trade-off to this feature is that it comes with higher fees than if you were to trade on your own. And if you want to learn more about SwissBorg's features and functionality, of course, we have you covered with an in-depth review. We also have a special sign-up deal as well, which you may want to make use of. All down in the links below they go. Overall then, SwissBorg is particularly appealing for beginners, especially those who prefer using their mobiles for trading. It provides an integrated solution for crypto payments ensures regulatory compliance, and offers support across multiple blockchains, networks, and tokens. As I mentioned before, SwissBorg Thematics is also a huge attraction for new traders. However, 
Potential users should be mindful of its higher trading fees, limited cryptocurrency options, and scant educational content. And that concludes my top exchange picks for 2023. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, no matter how secure you think an exchange is, it's important to practice self-custody. So keep your coins and tokens, preferably in a hardware wallet. As I've reiterated countless times, not your keys, not your crypto. We would also strongly recommend that you delve deeper into each of these exchanges on your own. And don't forget about all the additional resources that we've linked to in the description. And don't forget to check out the Coin Bureau deals page, which is home to the very best discounts and promos in all of crypto. That's about it for our video though, but I would love to hear your feedback as well. Have you used any of these exchanges? Are there any other exchanges that you want us to cover? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, then smash up that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.